another screen recording, uh, this time in looking at essays and searching. And what I wanted to do today was introduce you all to Google Scholar. I don't know how familiar you are with Google Scholar, but basically what it is, is Google being the massive company that they are in their mission to basically categorize every piece of information uh, in the world has basically turned their uh, search engine and their technology to the world of academia. Google Scholar has been around for a while. Unfortunately, became very prominent after I was done university. So if you have never used Google Scholar before, although it is university level, as you get access to you know, thousands of articles and everything published um, for pretty much every uh, domain of academia, uh, it's always good to get used to it in high school right now. Like this is a, a unique and amazing opportunity. Uh, like I said, when I was in university, I never got the opportunity to use Google Scholar. I didn't even use academic articles until uh, third, fourth year university. And even then I had to go find them in, in databases. Google makes this so much easier. Learn how to use Google Scholar. It's an amazing opportunity. And especially for those in the, the growth mindset, of course, even though you're going to be using uh, Google Scholar and you know, you're reading academic or sort of university level articles, challenge yourself to understand them. I'll make another pod or another screencast about how to read uh, university level articles. Uh, again, it's an amazing opportunity. Don't let it pass you up. Anyways, that's my introduction. Uh, what I wanted to start with here is this is the, the home page of Google Scholar. Simply go to you know scholar.google.ca or .com. Um, a simple Google search of Google Scholar will take you here to this home page. Uh, and I don't know, it pretty much works like a, a regular Google search page. There's not too much to it. So what you can see I have out here already is uh, today we'll be researching like the effects of Facebook and teenagers. If you want to know more about Google Scholar, you can click on the About down here. It will open up this tab here where you can learn how to search. Um, they have different citations and things like that. Um, but for Google Scholar, we're going to go for basics on what we want to do and how we want to use it in our high school classroom for our essay research. So a couple things you can do. Obviously, you can do an immediate search right here. Uh, and sorry, by clicking on this little tab right here, Advanced Scholar Search, what you can do is you can find articles with all these words, the exact phrase, you know, at least one of these words. Um, you know, where the words occur, it could be in the title anywhere if you want to find something by an author. Uh, that if you want to find recent articles, you know, you can search via 2012 to 2013 if you want to keep it super recent. So it's a little bit more of an advanced search if you uh, decide to use it that way. Uh, the other thing that you will, uh, before we move forward, you won't be able to access a number of articles. Basically, what you need is most universities have access through Google Scholar, but the everyday people do not because the universities pay for access for this. However, this is where I come in. I do have access to uh, Google Scholar through a university. So if you need to find an article, let me know the title of it, the author, and everything about it, and I will find it for you. Uh, when you do go to university, however, if you click on the settings up here, library links over here, you just could type in your library, whatever you want to use, i.e. Harvard, whatever, and then you, you click on it and find it there. Anyways. That's for when you go off there. What we're going to be doing in today's one, we're just looking at, I have a phrase, the effects of Facebook plus teenagers. I click on it right here. So, again, you can see over here, uh, you can go anytime. You can customize the range between that. You can sort by relevance, anything. Uh, but just like a regular Google search, you have your articles out here. Uh, so you can see, you know, students and teachers use of Facebook. The author right here, KFU, uh, 2011. Everything like that, you know, perceived academic efforts of instant messaging use, the authors, and that's that. What's here is this is where you can see where you can access the articles or not. So what's really cool here is usually some of them have like a PDF. So if we wanted to, you know, students and teachers use of Facebook, click on the PDF right there. And, oh, okay. Well, unfortunately, you can't get into that one. A number of them that are PDF you should be able to access. I'm fairly certain of it. Let's try out this one here. Let it load. There we go. So, you know, you can see the, the article right here. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to save this article for myself so that I can show you how to go through an article in a university level article. So give me one second here to save it. I'll just save it. Um, article. Save it to my desktop. We're good to go. 
So you should have access to a number of PDF articles that you should be able to go through right here. Now, however, you're going to see a lot of articles like this. I assume the free ones come up first, or the ones you can access. However, you're going to come up to a number of articles like this, like a review of research on Facebook as an educational environment. Nothing beside it, because the reason is we aren't actually, sorry, it should come up here, we aren't actually logged in as, you know, part of any university. So what you would do is, if you click on the article, usually what they give is a basic abstract of it. Okay, here it pops up. They give you a basic abstract, like the first few pages. The abstract is generally a summary of what the article is about. So, you know, the purpose of the study is to present a review of Facebook, you know, educational environment, keywords, whatever. You know, usually they'll give you the introduction in a page or two. You can't get much more than that. So perhaps what I would say is if you find an article, read the abstract and start thinking, okay, is this an article I can use? If so, all you simply need to do is, you know, copy and paste the title of it. Go Microsoft Word, open up. Okay, start a blank. And all you want to do is just save the information for me, and then I'll be able to get the article for you. If you want to buy me a new computer in the meantime, that's awesome. As you can tell, mine is slow for some unknown reason. So basically what you should do is give me the title of the article, um, give me the author right here. So I'm not even going to bother with Word anymore. That's annoying. So give me the title, give me the author, give me the year. Um, usually the second thing, you know, in this case, educational technology research and development is the um, sort of the journal it was published in. So give me as much of this information as possibly can, and I'll find the article for you. So that's a general overview of Google Scholar. Use it to the best of your advantage. You find amazing articles. Uh, you're going to challenge yourself academically. You're going to challenge yourself intellectually to read these articles. Help each other out. Work with your your teammates and your partners. Find as much as you possibly can online, and you know, use it to the best of your ability. Take care.